Good morning. I'm Batma Priya, Assistant Professor in Department of CSE, RMD Engineering College. Today, we are going to see the topic stack under the subject data structures. Stack is a linear data structure that follows the LIFO, that is last in first out principle. So stack can be defined as a container in which the insertion and deletion can be done from one end known as a top of the stack. The real time examples of stack are stack of books, a pile of plates, a stack of CD or DVDs. So here, how we will be inserting the data, for example, a pile of books itself. So a book can be placed on top of another book. And if you want to take a book, you have to take the book which is on the top only. So the same way, the data is over here also in the stack can be placed, a data can be placed on top of another one data. And if you want to delete a data, we can only delete the data which is present on the top position. So this is going to be called as stack. So now the applications of stack. So this stack application is used in string reversal in undo and redo operations in the systems, recursion, where the same process is going to be recalled again and again, backtracking, expression conversion. So the standard stack operations are push. So push is the operation where you will be inserting the data. So when we insert an element in a stack, then the operation is known as push. If the stack is full, then the over overflow condition occurs. Pop. When we delete an element from the stack, the operation is known as a pop. If the stack is empty means then no element exists in the stack and this is called as underflow state. Is empty. This operation determines whether the stack is empty or not. Is full. This determines whether the stack is full or not. Peak. It is used to search for an element and the position of the element which has been searched for is going to be returned. Display. It prints all the elements available in the stack. Now let us see the push operation. Before inserting an element in a stack, we should have to check whether the stack is full. If we try to insert the element in a stack and the stack is full means that the overflow condition occurs. When we initialize a stack, we set the value of the top as minus 1 to check that the stack is empty. So top value variable is going to be minus 1 means the stack is empty. When the new element is going to be pushed in the stack, first the value of the top is going to be incremented. So top is equal to top plus 1. And now the top is going to be indicating to the position 0. So now the element will be placed at the new position of the top. The elements will be inserted until we reach the max size of the stack. Now let us see this example. So initially the top variable is going to be minus 1. This indicates the stack is empty. Now I am going to push the element 10. So first I have to increment the top variable. So top is equal to minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now I am going to insert the value 10. Now I want to insert the value 20. So top value initially it is indicating to the position 0 is going to be incremented by 1. So top is equal to 1 and here I am going to insert the variable value 20. Now again I want to insert another one data 30. So top value is going to be 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now in the position 2, I am going to insert the data 30. So now I am going to insert the last variable that is 40. So top value is going to be 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So top value is 3 and I am going to insert the data 40. Now the stack is full. Now let us see how to delete the data from the stack. So before deleting the element from the stack, we should have to check whether the stack is empty. If we try to delete the element from the empty stack, then underflow condition occurs. So if the stack is not empty, we first access the element which is pointed by the top. Once the pop operation is performed, the top is decremented by 1. That is top is equal to top minus 1. So now let us see this uh, scenario where top value is equal to 3 and the stack is full. Now I want to pop one element. So pop the top element that is 40. And after popping the element, you have to decrement the top value by 1. So top value now becomes 2. Now I'm again, I'm going to pop one more value. So pop the 30 and decrement the top variable by 1. So now top value is going to be 1. Again, I'm going to pop one more value. So pop 20 and top variable is going to be 0. Again, I'm going to 
pop one element. So pop 10. Now the top value is going to be minus 1. So now again I want to do the pop means I cannot do it because top value is equal to minus 1. That is stack is empty. So that is with the stack. Thank you.